When the following equation is balanced, the coefficients are, okay, well, let's start with writing down the various elements, nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. And we start on the left side with one nitrogen, three hydrogens, two oxygens. And on the product side, we have one nitrogen, two hydrogens, and three oxygens. This one is deceptively simple, but it's not going to work out that way. Let's start with hydrogen, because it only shows up once on the right side. We need three. We only have two. So we divide the three by two, and that tells us that we have to multiply our hydrogen by 1.5. Well, we can't do that. We, we need whole numbers. So that tells us that we double everybody. So we turn this into two two ammonia right here, two oxygens, okay, two nitrogens, and then we double this 1.5, so we have three. This way we have whole numbers. So now let's see where we are. The nitrogens have gone to two. Hydrogen is now six, of course, because that's the element we were working with. And now oxygen has gone to four over here, and on the right side is seven. Well, that's uncomfortable when we have that. So we look at the oxygen. We have four, but we need seven. So that means we have to multiply the oxygen by seven over four. But to do that, we now multiply everybody by four because we want to turn this into just seven. So up at the top now, 4 times 2 is 8. The oxygen here, we're multiplying it by 7 fourths times 4, so that's just going to give us 14. Over here, we multiply this by 4, we get 8, and this by 4, we get 12. Now, the first thing we're going to do, let's, let's circle this in a different color here, you can see we have 8, 14, 8, 12. What's nice is those are all divisible by 2, so we're going to cut them all in half. So instead of 8, we'll have 4, 7, 4, 6, which matches right here. But now we have to check to make sure we have the right amount of atoms on each side. So you go ahead and do that, please. Multiply the 4 times here, 7 times here, 4 times here, 6 times this guy, and you will find out that the amount of atoms on the left side is the same as the right. So the whole key was using this fraction, and when you get the fraction, you multiply everybody else, including itself, by this number 4 so you get a whole number, that then gave us coefficients that if you divided them by 2, you'd get a smaller number. They were all divisible by 2, and you have to use the least common denominator type of thing, which is where we got the 4, 7, 4, 6.